It sounds like a great idea. Building brand new power stations to reduce our carbon footprint, create new jobs and regenerate derelict sites. But many locals are up in arms, saying that the man behind the schemes is just in it for the money and that some planners haven't done their job properly. One council leader agrees with the protesters. It's all getting personal. The mud is certainly flying around. The Gwendrife Valley in Carmarthenshire. Developer Clive Hughes lives here in Pontiates. Four years ago, he began looking at redeveloping this plot of brownfield land between Kidwelly and Trimsaran. He wants to build a small renewable power station that runs on wood. He wants to build another one in Swansea. This country needs industry to survive. Uh, and I believe in, in doing this, is, it's, it's what is wanted. Well, it'll create jobs, it'll clean jobs. It's not like the old power stations, dirty and uh, things like that. These are clean. The plants in Carmarthenshire and Swansea will be several storeys high, with 60 and 70 metre chimneys. Heat and electricity are generated through a turbine. We all need electricity. Uh, we all need to, to look at renewable electricity generation for the future as a mitigator of climate change. What we can't do is deny the fact that we need to place power uh, projects, renewable projects, in various parts of this country. The key here is to reduce the impact of them and to make them as attractive as possible. But planning decisions from both councils are now well overdue. In Carmarthenshire, the head of planning is Avion Bowen. He's keen on regeneration and has recommended approval. But in recent months, there's been a constant stream of complaints about the plans. There's two things that concern me. One is the public health impact of putting a power station with all its emissions and pollutions in a rural area. Uh, and then secondly, the impact of it in a rural area. This is an enormous structure. This, this is a huge, um, you know, 300 metre long sort of uh, uh, site with a sort of 10 storey building and, a, and at least a 60 metre sort of chimney. That's a, just a huge blot on the landscape. Robin Camish, a businessman with power station experience, formed a protest group. It's supported by some local councillors. They include Merrill Gravel, none other than the leader of Carmarthenshire Council. Merrill is our local elected member, uh, and uh, you know she's one of the county councillors. So we have gone to Trimsar and uh, local uh, community council and said we're concerned about this. They've said so are they, so they've lobbed an, lobbed an objection. Uh, and Merrill has come out publicly to say she also objects to this. Some feel the leader's vision for the regeneration of rural Carmarthenshire is counter to that of her own planning department. She sees leisure and tourism projects as the best way forward. But to Hughes, her complaints about his plans feel personal. She's a personal vindictiveness against me because we've had words. You know, I told her I don't... She said she didn't want to talk to me and I clearly told her, I don't particularly want to talk to you. Why should I want to talk to you? I'm here to employ people. Hughes and Gravel, it seems, have had a long-running dispute over whether he might burn tyres at the site. He firmly denies this and instead alleges that she has a conflict of interest between her county and her community. She should be helping Avian Bowen and the chief executive and creating jobs for these people or she should resign her position and join the objectors. Yes. It is a victimisation against me. Wales This Week contacted Meryl Gravel about Hughes' allegations. She told us that she's not a member of the planning committee and has done nothing wrong. The leading protester claims Hughes' personal attacks amount to intimidation. His normal mechanism of operation is personal attack. He's in debt, he's running in the red. It's fairly clear to us that his objective is actually to get a piece of paper that says I've got approved planning permission sell it on, take the money and run. Hughes says he doesn't care what people say about him and he doesn't deny that he's a speculative developer. But all the mudslinging obscures what the impact will be of his power plants. The protesters say Carmarthenshire's planning department is making mistakes. If you look at the environmental impact assessment, we've also compared it with an identical scheme that's been proposed in Swansea. And uh, what we've seen, for example, is a zone of impact at Coidback of two kilometres, but the zone of impact that's being used in Swansea is 15 kilometres. Complete contrast. And, and that to us says there's something fundamentally wrong here.
At Koidbach, a two-kilometer impact zone includes just one site of special scientific interest. But widen it to 15 kilometers, as is the case in Swansea, and you get numerous national and international wildlife sites, including the Gower and local communities. As far as uh, the council are concerned, we don't matter, we don't count. We're outside of the scope. In response, Carmarthenshire's head planner, Avion Bowen, told us... The environmental impact assessment has been the subject of consultation with both the Countryside Council for Wales and the Environment Agency. While certain concerns have been highlighted, neither have raised formal objections to the scheme.